Well, welcome to the Lead for Homes Green Raider uh, Verification Credential Training. This is the first module in the Lead Green Raider Training. My name is Brett Little. I'm the Education Manager here at the Green Home Institute. I'm a Lead Green Raider who have, has overseen many projects and want to help you be successful in becoming a Lead Green Raider as well. Now, the Green Home Institute is a nonprofit with a mission to empower people to make healthier and more sustainable choices in the renovation and construction of the places we live. And as part of our mission, we have served as one of the original Lead for Homes providers for uh, nearly 20 years now, overseeing this program, certifying hundreds of lead projects, single family, multifamily, thousands of units across the planet. A Lead Green Raider is someone with experience in construction and basic credentials in green building who wishes to help the residential construction industry worldwide advance in sustainability. The intention of this module is to help you understand the basic requirements to becoming a lead green raider. And after going through these requirements, you may determine you need to stop here and achieve some other steps. If not, you can then register and finish the rest of this training, which is mostly done all on demand with three hours of live virtual training. You can download the slides for this presentation below if you're watching this on the Thinkific channel and then follow along. Now, before we get started with this module, we always need to give a shout out to uh, our sponsors who allow us to do what we do. And more importantly, all of our sponsors are making products and services that are going to help your clients meet and beat the LEED certification standards. So please make sure to inform them of these opportunities for um, achieving the lead goals using so especially our top tier sponsors like Ream and Mitsubishi or helping your lead projects meet their energy and atmosphere goals, air quality goals, and doing it in a way that achieves ultimate sustainability in some regards beyond lead certification. So here's a brief review of the 10 steps to becoming a lead green raider with much more details on that and links uh, down below. Let's briefly review each one of these and then go into each one. Uh, the first one is you need to confirm you have three years of construction related experience. Step number two, get an understanding of building science. Step number three, become a lead green associate. Step number four, become a lead accredited professional. Step number five, complete the online GBCI Green Raider modules. Step number six, complete the Green Home Institute on-demand training. That's where you're at right now. Step number seven, complete the Green Home Institute three-hour live virtual training. Step eight, pass the GBCI exam. Step nine, submit your application for approval to GBCI. And step 10, submit a project, uh, two projects every two years. You can follow along with these details and specifics in the links below and as we move through this video. So step number one is you need to confirm that you have three years of experience in construction related uh, industry activity to apply to become a lead green raider. Rather than giving you a list of what is required, note that this is very subjective. For example, we recently had someone show they had only two and a half years of experience in the industry. However, they had a master's of building science uh, as a degree and they received approval. If you are unsure, please do not contact me, but instead contact greenraider at gbci.org. Again, that's greenraider at gbci.org and give them very specific details on your experience to determine if you qualify. If you need more experience, we have some suggestions for you. For example, Habitat for Humanity Worldwide needs volunteers just like you to help them build homes for many people in need. Many of those habitats do Energy Star certification, some do LEED certification. So you can gain good knowledge as you help people in need and gain the experience you need for the program. There is also a major construction labor worker shortage, and there's lots of opportunities here that you can consider uh, to gain the experiences that you need and help out so you're ready to serve as a Green Raider. If you do not have this construction related experience, please stop here right now, go out and get that, uh, work on that immediately, and then come back to start on the remaining steps to becoming a lead Green Raider. 
now that you've confirmed you have three years of experience in the construction industry, next you need to confirm that you have some um, building science education and background. Specifically, you need to have a thorough understanding of the basic building science in the areas of building envelope, number one, in um, uh, uh, heat transfer, number two, in moisture transfer, number three, and then air transfer, number four. This is demonstrated for at least one hour of continuing education units for each area that I just mentioned. Now let's uh, take a look here at the three different pathways you can use to be, um, meet this requirement. If you're already uh, certified uh, as a rater under HERS or uh, BSI or Passive House or Ashway, then you already pre-qualify. That's easy. Feel free to skip ahead to the next step and move on. Now let's shift over to the third pathway there, way on the right side. This is where you would attend our four-hour on-demand building science webinar. If you do not intend to become the energy, uh, the qualified energy rater, and very importantly, you have somebody you plan to work with locally with you, then this pathway is for you. You can then gain at least a basic understanding by taking the GHI um, four-hour, four-course on-demand building science CU training here. This training is free for Green Home Institute members, and you can learn more about the training and the membership down in the details below. Uh, now let's shift over to pathway option two for meeting this. Uh, that's where you'll take the online virtual um, HERS Rater training. If you intend to become the qualified Rater on your project, or even if you don't intend to, but can't figure out someone else to work with, uh, then this one is for you. This is a much longer pathway, so it's going to take you on a little bit of a detour off of your Green Raider path, but you'll get back on. Um, you can learn more about the HERS Raider certificate training here down in the links below. But note, GHI will set you up with the training, so contact me, brett.little, at greenhomeinstitute.org to get you set up. Once you complete this course, you'll be able to continue your lead Green Raider journey. Note, for those of you outside of the U.S., the on-site mentoring portion of this training is only required if you plan to do blower door, duct blaster, and or ventilation testing, which currently, under current rules, is not required unless you're trying to achieve more points in those areas. This training is also discounted by 5% for Green Home Institute members, and you can learn more again below about the membership. Ultimately, there are other ways you can meet this under option one that you may already pre-qualify for. If you need clarification on your experience, please contact Green Raider at usgbc.org and then send them your resume with the details of your building science training, continuing ed, and back background that you've had to confirm if you're approved. Now, if you decide to take our modules, here's an example of what they look like in the building science bundle on our learning platform. You need to complete all four of these and a reminder, this is free for Green Home Institute members. Now, the next two steps, um, step three and four are very similar. So let's cover both of these at the same time. And in fact, you can complete step three and four at the same time to reduce time and cost. Now, the third step to becoming a lead uh, green raider is to get your lead green associate designation. If you are already a lead uh, green associate, you can skip ahead to the next section. The lead green associate is the globally recognized sustainability credential that goes far beyond lead and building construction and gives you the foundational of knowledge of sustainability to be in the sustainable industry. Make sure you click on the lead a green associate link detail um, below. That will get you instant access to the lead green associate handbook. And please stop and review all of that right now at this point. If you become a Green Home Institute member, you can access the green associate training and practice exam all for free. Then you will go on to complete your USGBC exam to become a lead green associate. The fourth step is um, becoming a lead accredited professional, either in homes, which is ideal, or BD and C. 
If you're already a lead AP, go ahead and skip this section and go to the next one. The lead AP homes makes the most sense, um, but uh, B, D, and C is also allowed. Uh, o and M, uh, interior, and all the other APs are not allowed for a baseline credential for this Green Raider training. You could be one, but you can't use it. Um, make sure to click on the lead accredited professional training link information there down below. In it, you'll get access to the Lead AP Homes Handbook. Please stop here and review it. Though, if you're already a green associate, you might be familiar with some of the information. If you become a GHI member, you can then access the Lead AP Homes training and practice exam for either Homes or BDNC, all for free, among many other benefits. Then, once you complete those, you will go on to complete your USGBC exam. So let's take a quick visualization of this process. Again, you're starting out at the top there, taking the uh, GHI Green Associate course and practice exam, free for members. Then you're taking the official Green Associate GBCI exam. Then you become accredited. You take your continuing ed. We offer a lot of that for free through our webinars and other trainings that we do, especially for members. And then move on to become a, a, a lead APC. Yeah, uh, AP, either BDC or Holmes. So here you're just repeating the same process you did, um, but you're selecting either AP Homes or BDNC. Uh, if it's, we have the course for AP Homes, you take that. While you're taking that, make sure to take your practice exam at the same time. Same for the Green Associate, take the practice exam at the same time while you're taking the course. Then you go take the GBCI exam, pass that, you become an accredited professional. And then again, continue to maintain your continuing ed. We offer a lot of that. It's important to know that you can also do the AP and Green Associate at the exact same time, saving you money and cost and time. Uh, however, the difference is you then go on to memorize 400 questions or so as opposed to 200. So depending on how good of a test taker you are, it's just a lot more memorization and a lot more risk because if you don't pass the exam, you have to retake it and repay. Um, but it can save time and cost to do both. And we've had some members recently do that. So if you're not yet a lead accredited professional or green associate, please stop here. Don't go any further. Go get the credential. Go start your training and practice exam. Then come back and continue on um, with your Green Raider training. So now that you have your lead accredited professional um, homes designation, you are ready to move on to step number five, which is to complete the online GBCI Green Raider modules. Please complete the appropriate and 100% free USGBC Lead for Homes modules listed below in step number five. Ideally, you'd want to take all of these so you'd have the best understanding and all of their content will be relevant on your final Green Raider exam. However, at the very least, you all need to take the LEED v4.1 single family course there at the top. And international raiders outside of the US and Canada must also complete the LEED v4.1 residential multifamily overview there at the second one. Um, while US and Canadian raiders um, only need to take the LEED v4 multifamily mid rise overview there at the bottom. If you have not completed these modules yet, please pause here before moving on. You will need the information in these modules to help you understand the rest of this course. Complete them, then uh, come back and continue on uh, completing um, your lead Green Raider uh, training with us. All right, so you're here. You did it. You made it. This is step number six. This is where you are currently at right now as we speak. If you are not yet ready for step number six to take this on-demand, uh, on-your-time virtual training course, uh, please pause here and complete the previous steps uh, and then resume after you are ready. So here you are in this training watching this module. This is step number one to complete the online on-demand training series as part of all of step six within the Green Raider process. So what does step six include? It includes the on-demand training modules. This is number one, completing the case study homework and submitting it, 
answering questions in the discussion forum as well. Those are the three main components. Go ahead and review the agenda on our website down in the link below under step number six. Most people need about two whole weeks to get through this training uh, to understand the modules, to respond on the discussion, and to complete the homework. So make sure you have at least two weeks prior to um, thinking you're going to attend the live course, which we'll cover next. And that will ensure you are uh, successful in this training and are not rushed for time. Now, if you're currently watching this session as a free module, you need to take the next step to pay for the course. The course uh, fees always fluctuate, so it might look a little bit different than what you're seeing here. Um, but the way that it works is that the higher fee, the highest amount up on the top there, uh, is our non-member rate. So if you're not a member, not taking advantage of the other benefits we discussed, that's the higher rate. Uh, if you're a Green Home Institute member or sign up to become a Green Home Institute member immediately paying the membership fee, uh, you'll get access to that lower rate um, cost, a uh, lower amount at the bottom. Make sure to click the drop down menu. There are additional discounts for group buys if you need a whole group to go through the training. And for uh, lead providers uh, and other associations might provide you discount coupon codes. So make sure to check for those as well. Um, if you heard about us from a training partner, it's likely they have a coupon code. So make sure to get that code from them to activate your discount. So this training focuses on Lead for Homes version 4 and version 4.1 credits. A Lead Green Mater uh, may work on any version of the Lead Green rating system. We will be discussing the third party verification team's role in verifying Lead residential projects why it's important, and how and when third-party infield verifiers need to effectively interface with uh, the project team. We'll look at the effective use of required lead residential tools designed to support the verification process. We will explain the key objectives of the training and how the case study weaves through the training so students will be able to effectively walk through a project that is lead v4 uh, or lead v4.1 residential following the build schedule phases. Uh, the lessons learned is, for you here are defining the responsibilities of a lead green raider in each phase of the project uh, and uh, the key to understanding the whole process. Identifying the green raider's responsibility in the design phase, identifying the green raider's responsibility in the construction phase, and identifying uh, your responsibility as the green raider in the certification phase. Uh, you'll be able to manage and conduct verification activities uh, and uh, being able to do this um, while having uh, knowledge of the credits and where to find them. Define what types of verification activity is required for each credit. Define what photos can be used in the verification process. Define what types of supporting documentation can be used to verify lead credits. Define the performance test documentation needed by credit and define how and when to utilize the verification and submittal guidelines. You'll also be looking at effectively using the V4 Homes and single family V4.1 submittal workbooks, as well as really focusing in this session on a V4.1 multifamily core and shell scorecards. You'll learn how to calculate points towards certification, man uh, manage a verification process, calculate home size adjustments, understand the difference uh, between and proper use of individual and batching, know which credits have prerequisites versus uh, prescriptive versus performance approaches, and how to report credit achievements. You'll learn how to identify the location of key resources, the latest Lead for Homes uh, multifamily workbooks, the latest V4.1 corn shell forms and scorecards, how to use the lead credit library, lead interpretations and addenda, uh, and where to find corrections and updates, and ultimately where to get the guide to certification for lead verifications and submittals. So here's what it looks like in your training dashboard to find and access this course. If you're already a Green Home Institute member, you are gonna see over a hundred courses you can access on our platform at any time and take for continuing ed. So it might be a little hard to find. So real quick, you just wanna head up to that search bar, 
type in lead green raider on demand course or some variation of that currently it's the lead green raider on demand course 2024 is the correct one you want to find as the image is displayed below so make sure you're in the proper place when you're logging out and logging back in to continue on with your module now here is an example of the training module platform you are required to complete for step six this training you can see all the modules on the left when you click on those you will see videos and you'll see documents and resources below the videos that you will need to download you are currently here on module one and once you pay for the full course if you have not yet you'll be able to see and access modules two through 13 to continue to move forward through the course You will see a discussion forum on each video. In every training, I go ahead and stop and ask a question. And you're required to answer that question uh, or answer another student who answered the question uh, with a follow-up comment or question to that. You are not required to get the question right, but you must show your work, how you got to that answer, and make your best attempt. You can see examples of the discussion here from previous courses. Each question will be highly relevant to your final exam. You cannot skip it. So in order to attend the live portion of the course, we'll be looking to make sure that you are uh, engaging in the conversation uh, throughout the modules. OK, so now I usually tell you to stop here. Um, but part of this course, step number six, is also to understand your responsibility uh, in the remaining steps to ensure uh, this Green Raider course is right for you. So the next step we're going to look at uh, is step number seven, and then go on to the remainder eight, nine, and ten. And so step number seven is completing the live portion of the um, lead Green Raider training that you're in right now so about every other month we host the three hour live training you must attend this training after you fully completed the modules added all the discussion on each module and turned in your homework you cannot attend the live training until you are done with all the modules and homework and discussion if you are not you'll likely be delayed until the next course which could cause additional fees and other charges. So make sure you're ready. Now, we do also have a personalized trainings here at GHI that we host based on your time and your availability. If you're in a hurry or can't make uh, one of the scheduled trainings, um, or if you have an active lead project that you're doing now, you can actually get hands-on uh, on-the-job training with that project. So if you have any kind of specialized requests, contact me at brett.little at greenhomeinstitute.org if you want to schedule a separate live training. The next step, uh, step number eight, is to pass your uh, final Green Raider GBCI exam. Immediately following the live training, you need to start on your final exam. The final exam is $45 paid to USGBC, and it's not covered in the cost of this course. It's not paid to us. The exam is open book, open note, and you have six months to complete it. You must get an 80% passing rate to complete it. If you do not complete the exam in six months, you must retake this entire course. The exam is done virtually online on your computer, and it is not proctored and you can take it as many times as you want. You can pass it or, or fail it as many times uh, as well, but you can continue to take it until you pass to complete the final exam. Then you're gonna move on to step number nine, once you complete the exam, to submit your application. Once you complete your exam, you need to review your application and confirm you meet the requirements. Then you'll fill out the application, sign your Green Raider contract, and send your documents all to greenraider at gbci.org. We'll show you more information on how to do that in the live trade uh, course training. Now scroll down to step number nine down in the information below or on our um, training website to review the contract before proceeding any further into this module. Do you meet all of the qualifications to be passing this course, or do you need to go back and complete some of them. 
if everything looks good, you can move on to step number 10, which is um, being involved in two projects for LEAD every two years. Now, before you get started on a project, it's important to know that mentoring is not required, but highly advised. If you have a high priority project, such as one seeking tax credits or incentive, you want to make sure you have a mentor to avoid any issues or reduce legal risk if the project is not successful, especially if it's based on something uh, you failed to note uh, in the design team meetings. GHI provides mentorship services that we can assist you with. Short of that, you need to be involved in at least two registered projects every two years, and you submit those to GBCI to maintain your credential. This is uh, done by resubmitting that same application uh, from step number nine. Otherwise, if you're unable to do that, you simply just need to retake the course, and then you'll be able to get back involved in doing uh, lead green rating projects. Now, as I mentioned, the training you are here at right now covers steps five through eight. Are you ready to start on these? If not, please do not register. Go back and get steps one through four, wherever you're at, completed, then come back. Don't try to rush through these uh, steps through this module if you're not ready. Do you feel confident also that you can meet the requirements of step nine and 10? Review those as well and make sure you're this is the right um, uh, direction you want to head into if not contact me to discuss and determine we have other trainings other credentials that might be more relevant to the goals you want to achieve to the goals your clients want to achieve um, that may be more applicable to meet your sustainable needs uh, and and design criteria and what it is you're trying to accomplish we have something that can help everyone this may not be it, so we don't want you to proceed if it's not. But if it is, we're going to help you be very successful in achieving your lead Green Raider credential. So with that, again, we thank our sponsors who allow us to do this work to put these sessions on, especially our top tier sp platinum sponsors, Reem and Mitsubishi. They're making decarbonized air source heat pump systems for heating the air and water, which help your clients meet and beat the lead standards for certification that are available all across the planet. So check them out and all of our other sponsors that are adding uh, sustainable products to ultimately achieve these goals. And before we wrap up this module and you move on to the next or take the next steps you need to take, remember that the Green Home Institute is a nonprofit with a mission to empower people to make healthier and more sustainable choices in the renovation and construction of the places we live. We hope you will join us to help expand our mission and ensure residential green building is attainable to everyone uh, in all uh, walks of life and with all needs across the entire globe. I look forward to meeting you in our class and assisting you in becoming a lead green raider. Please register for the full class now and you'll be able to begin uh, module two and continue on with the training.